Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to tell about a story which is called, Polly's Panda Pajama Party. Enjoy it! Once upon a time, in the cozy town of Willowdale, there lived a girl named Polly. Polly was a bright-eyed, curious nine-year-old who loved animals, especially pandas. Her room was filled with panda posters, stuffed pandas, and even panda-shaped pillows. But most importantly, Polly had a vivid imagination that often led her on exciting adventures. One sunny afternoon, as Polly was playing in her backyard with her best friend Lily, an idea struck her like a bolt of lightning. Lily, I've just had the most fantastic idea. Polly exclaimed, her eyes shining with excitement. What is it, Polly? Lily asked, curious to know what her friend was thinking. We should have a panda pajama party. Polly exclaimed, unable to contain her excitement. We can invite all our friends, wear panda pajamas, and have a night filled with fun and games. Lily's eyes lit up with excitement at the thought of a panda pajama party. That sounds amazing, Polly. Let's do it. With a plan in place, Polly and Lily set out to invite their friends to the party. They knocked on doors, sent out invitations, and spread the word throughout Willowdale. Soon enough, the entire town was buzzing with excitement for Polly's panda pajama party. As the day of the party approached, Polly and Lily worked tirelessly to prepare. They decorated Polly's backyard with paper lanterns shaped like pandas, set up a cozy area for storytelling, and laid out blankets and cushions for everyone to sit on. Polly even baked panda-shaped cookies to snack on during the party. Finally, the evening of the panda pajama party arrived. The backyard was transformed into a magical panda paradise, with twinkling lights and giggling children dressed in adorable panda pajamas. Polly welcomed each of her friends with a warm hug and a big smile. Welcome to Polly's panda pajama party, she exclaimed, her heart fluttering with happiness. The party kicked off with games and laughter as the children played panda-themed games like Pin the Nose on the Panda and Panda Limbo. They danced to music and told stories under the starlit sky, their imaginations soaring with every tale. As the night wore on, Polly couldn't help but feel a wave of happiness wash over her. Surrounded by her friends, dressed in their cozy panda pajamas, she realized that there was nowhere else she'd rather be. Little did Polly know, the best was yet to come. As the clock struck midnight, a magical surprise awaited them all, promising to make Polly's panda pajama party a night they would never forget. As the clock struck midnight, a hush fell over the backyard, and all the children gathered around Polly in eager anticipation. What's the surprise, Polly, they whispered, their eyes wide with excitement. Polly grinned mischievously, her heart pounding with excitement. Close your eyes and count to three, she instructed. When you open them, you'll see the magical surprise. The children obeyed, closing their eyes tightly and beginning to count aloud. One, two, three. With a flourish, Polly waved her arms, and suddenly, the backyard was filled with twinkling lights and shimmering sparkles. Gasps of awe escaped the lips of the children as they opened their eyes to behold the most wondrous sight. Before them stood a magnificent sight, a life-sized panda puppet, shimmering with moonlight and adorned with twinkling stars. Its eyes gleamed with kindness, and its furry arms stretched out in a welcoming gesture. It's a real-life panda. Lily exclaimed, her eyes wide with wonder. Polly nodded with a smile. Not just any panda, Lily. It's our very own magical panda friend, Pippin. As if on cue, the panda puppet came to life, blinking its eyes and wiggling its nose. With a gentle voice that sounded like a soft breeze through bamboo trees, Pippin addressed the amazed children. Welcome, young ones, to Polly's panda pajama party, Pippin said, his voice warm and soothing. I am Pippin, the guardian of the panda forest, and I've come to join in your festivities. The children gathered around Pippin, their hearts filled with joy and wonder. 
They danced and laughed with their newfound friend, their worries and cares melting away in the magic of the moment. As the night drew to a close, Pippin bid farewell to the children, promising to visit them in their dreams and fill their hearts with happiness. With a final wave of his furry paw, he disappeared into the night, leaving behind a trail of stardust and smiles. As Polly and her friends said their goodbyes and headed home, their hearts were full of joy and gratitude. The Panda Pajama Party had been a magical adventure they would never forget, and they knew that wherever life took them, the memories of that night would always bring them happiness. But little did they know, the magic of Polly's Panda Pajama Party would continue to shine bright, lighting up their lives with joy and laughter for years to come. In the days that followed Polly's Panda Pajama Party, the town of Willowdale buzzed with excitement and wonder. Children whispered tales of the magical panda puppet, Pippin, who had graced Polly's backyard with his presence. And though some doubted the existence of such magic, Polly and her friends knew the truth in their hearts. Polly herself couldn't stop smiling as she went about her days, her mind filled with memories of the unforgettable party. She treasured the laughter, the joy, and the sense of wonder that had filled the air that night. But most of all, she treasured the friendship she had forged with Pippin, the guardian of the panda forest. As the weeks turned into months, Polly found herself longing for another visit from her magical friend. She spent hours gazing up at the stars, hoping to catch a glimpse of Pippin's twinkling eyes and furry form. And though he didn't appear in the flesh, Polly could feel his presence in her heart, guiding her with gentle whispers of wisdom and kindness. One evening, as Polly sat in her room surrounded by her panda treasures, a soft rustling sound caught her attention. She turned to see a shadowy figure standing in the doorway, its form illuminated by the moonlight streaming in through the window. Pippin? Polly whispered, her heart racing with excitement. The figure stepped into the room, and Polly's eyes widened in amazement. It was indeed Pippin, his eyes sparkling with warmth and kindness. I've come to thank you, Polly, Pippin said, his voice soft and gentle. Thanks to your kindness and generosity, the panda forest has flourished like never before. The pandas are happy and healthy, and they send their gratitude to you and your friends. Tears of joy welled up in Polly's eyes as she listened to Pippin's words. She had never imagined that her simple idea for a panda pajama party would have such a profound impact on the world around her. Thank you, Pippin, Polly said, her voice filled with emotion. I'm so grateful for our friendship and for the magic you've brought into my life. Pippin smiled warmly at Polly, his eyes twinkling with pride. The pleasure is mine, dear Polly. And remember, no matter where life takes you, you will always have a friend in me. With a final wave of his paw, Pippin disappeared into the night, leaving behind a sense of peace and contentment in Polly's heart. From that day forward, Polly knew that she would always carry the magic of her panda pajama party with her, wherever she went. And though she may never see Pippin again, she took comfort in knowing that their friendship would last a lifetime. And so, dear readers, as we bid farewell to Polly and her friends, let us remember the power of imagination, friendship, and the magic that lies within each of us. For as Polly discovered, true happiness can be found in the most unexpected places, if only we have the courage to believe. I hope you enjoy listening to Polly's Panda Pajama Party.